Turbo 180, Bravo, Bravo, good afternoon to you. Report your altitude. Uh, 2,000 feet on 1014, Bravo, Bravo. Bravo, Bravo. Hi there YouTube, Wycliffe Barrett here, x Dedicated. Today we're going to look at the programming of the Flight Factor Airbus MCDU, Multifunction Control Display Unit. This is the heart of the aircraft and everything the Airbus can do can be done from the MCDU. So let's have a look. Here we are, the aircraft's loaded up, we've got power on, it's time to start programming. So the first thing we need to do is go to the init page and I'm going to do this as slow as possible. So EGFF slash p e g p f okay so a short f oh sorry e g c c manchester short flight plan clearly there isn't a plan there so we return and you will see that it's inputted there we align the irs not forgetting of course that i've already aligned the adarus up above on the overhead put in the call sign speedbird 2302 you can put anything in there you want, obviously. Uh, cost index of 20, which is around about normal for a uh, short haul. And then we're going to put in the cruise level, which is flight level 180. Now, the MCDU will put in the uh, cruise temperature for you. I'm just going to have a look at the uh, performance data. And as you can see, all of the weights are here because I've already put the fuel in. I've already asked for fuel from the fuel truck. So that's all in, all the zero fuel weight, etc. And fuel on board there. So what we have to do now is just press set. And that sets all the weights for the aircraft in the onboard computers. And that will show up in the MCDU when we come to that point. I'll just have a look there now. So we need to put in the zero fuel weight. We can request that. There we go, it's requested. And it's put the block fuel in, which is uh, 6,000 kilos. Six metric tons, however you want to describe that. All the other data is not yet filled in on the left-hand side there, but it will come in as we go through the plan. Okay, so first thing to do is select our departure. Runway 30, out of Cardiff today with the wind. And it is a Brecon 1 Alpha departure as we're going north, not south. So Brecon 1 Alpha departure, click on temporary flight plan, and then on the right hand side, insert. So that has been inserted. You can see that the pages are populated. Scroll down to Brecon BCN, click the left button there. And now we're looking for the airway, our next airway. It's November 864. So N864. Put that in the VIA side. You'll notice GPS primary has come up there. Uh, so clear that. That means that everything is aligned on the IRS and the Adarus. Now we need our uh, waypoint, which is Monty. Click temporary flight pan. And again, and then insert. So that's inserted. Now we need to put in our arrival. And the arrival into Manchester is a Mercy One Alpha. There's a flight plan discontinuity there. We'll get rid of that in a moment. So arrival. It's a 2-3 right. So it's I-2-3 right. This ILS approach. There we are. I-2-3 right. And we scroll down the page, which is on the up button for the Mercy One Alpha arrival. Click on that. There's no transition. Click on temporary flight plan. Insert temporary flight plan. There you go. So that is it, the complete flight plan. We need to get rid of that discontinuity. Click on clear. Click on the button next to it and it is cleared. Click insert again. There you go, and the whole flight plan is now in place. So we need to go to our um, init page, uh, takeoff page, sorry. Uh, shift is uh, 300 meters generally. Is it 300? I can't remember whether it's 300 meters or feet. I'll have to check that. But generally, I put 300 in there as per tuto past tutorials. Then we need our flaps and trim, so uh, flap one and up two. It's generally, uh, sometimes you can put flap flap one and up 1.0 or 2.0, that, that, but you know that's your trim, which is fine. Okay, 
Uh, flex temperature is 32 degrees plus the outside temperature. Outside temperature today is 12, so that makes that 44 on the flex. Transition altitude is 6,000 feet. Now, uh, V1, V2, and V3. We can request V2 and V3, but we can't request V1 at the moment. So uh, just type that in, and it's normally a few knots below uh, V2. So I think I'm going to put 1, 2, 3 there. Uh, and I think that is roughly around about it. So let's go back and check through the flight plan, check the data in it page. You'll now see that the block fuel page in it page two is all populated with data because of the GPS primary lock. It's accepted all the weights from the iPad or the, or the electronic flight bag. Just checking through again and everything's fine. No discontinuities. Excellent. As you, see, as you can see, it doesn't take very long to program the FMC at all. Doesn't take long at all. Just going to get rid of um, the fuel truck. Uh, thank you very much. And we'll get rid of the stairs because all the passengers are on board now. So we're getting rid of the stairs, closing up the doors. And uh, finally, just clearing. I'll start the APU uh, whilst we're here just to finish this process off. So. We'll click on the APU page there and you'll see the flap open and EGT come up and the uh, N percentage come up as well. So all very nicely done. Thankfully today I finally sorted out my uh, resolution and screen size issues. So um, I, I don't know why I didn't fix that earlier but I've done that so that's good. So hopefully this video will look very nice on YouTube. <laughs> I, I, I had a mental breakdown, not a breakdown, a mental uh, blackout on why I couldn't fix that. So anyway, let's get rid of the air, cart, air supply cart and uh, ground power. And I think that is, is, it, is it. I could quite happily now go and taxi down to the runway, but as this is a tutorial on the MCDU, I won't. We'll just go through a couple of the pages here. So you have the takeoff page. In it page, in it page two, we've got uh, our data index so we can monitor different functions. Uh, the MCDU is not complete as yet. There are still a few things on it that are not working that haven't been uh, done in this beta release, but hopefully they will be done clearly by the time the uh, aircraft goes into full release. So we can monitor GPS. Uh, so you can monitor your GPS position. Obviously, nothing's happening there because we're stationary on the ground. But if we was flying, you would see that the GPS data changing on the monitor there. And then the aircraft status, obviously, this is showing us our air rack data and a few other things in relation to the A320. It's uh, an, an amazing aircraft, as I've said before in some of the previous videos and also in the full flight video. The MCDU is the heart of the aircraft, as I said at the beginning of the video, and everything that can be done with the aircraft can be done from this unit. I was looking for some uh, real pictures of MCDUs. I found plenty, but by the time I put them into uh, into the video, the resolution went and they were all blurry. Um, and, I, and I wanted to put those pictures in as a comparison as to what um, the real unit looks like to this unit here in the aircraft. Okay, so I'm just clicking through some pages here um, where you can uh, copy your active flight plan and then put in a secondary flight plan if you wish. So if you was doing a rotation, you could put in your um, second flight plan and then call that up uh, on the ground once you've reached your destination and then you could put in your, your, your next flight, your next rotation in there as well if you wished. There's your radio, um, nav radio screen. Of course, you don't have to do anything with nav radio. It, it does it all for you automatically in the uh, MCDU of the Airbus. You just, uh, as long as you've got your destination airport in the ILS and everything will show up there. So uh, a very comprehensive 
uh, piece of equipment and when it's fully utilized in the full version of the aircraft it will be a masterpiece it's, it is already it's, you know it's a, it's a master class in creating one of these anyway that is the end of that tutorial i hope you've enjoyed it my name is Wycliffe Barrett, as always. This is X-Plane Dedicated. And I don't know what will be the next video, but we'll see you soon. Yeah.